Hi, welcome to How to D&D. My name is Fred Weller and today I'm here to unbox miniatures. Um, I was very, very tempted to call them sick and say, no, I'm not doing a video today. But um, as I found out from doing a poll, not many people are interested in unboxing miniatures. So it was very sort of traumatic for me. I was like, what am I supposed to do? Because I don't have anything else I can do and everything else requires too much work. So instead, it seems that the Lost Coast is the the preferred miniature box to open. So that's exactly what I'm going to do. I'm going to open those boxes. I have four of them today. And it probably should relate in some way to the new adventure, um, which is Ghosts of Salt Marsh, right? So that's the intention. I'm going to work my way through something that's more nautical or water-themed uh, for this particular day. Okay. All right, I've got my little knife. I'm going to do all the cutting first. So that I don't slice myself open and then, of course, bleed all over the black um, <laughs> cloth. How's it going, Smash Bro? Smash Bro 99, thank you for hanging out. And I hope I get some good pulls too. I've had a few pulls. I think I've already got the the green dragon here. That green dragon I already have. Oh, my knife blade is moving. That's not a good sign. Tighten it up. Um, I don't know if I might have the um, the gnome. I'm not sure. This is an ID Stalker, which just looks like an Intellect Devourer, if you ask me. And I, I might have him as well, the Alchemist. And on the other side, I'm, I definitely have the Goblin Mutant already. And this Barbarian, don't think so. I might have this Flying Winged Creature, and I don't think I've got him. But we'll see what we get. Okay, so I'm going to cut that box open. Sorry if I'm fiddling around too much. You know me, <laughs> I, I fluff around quite a lot sometimes. So let's cut this box open, cutting towards myself to ensure that I don't hurt myself. <laughs> I mean, away from myself to ensure that I don't hurt myself. My blade's still coming loose. What's what's the deal there? Stay in there. You should be paid enough for you. Yeah, stay there. No moving. All right, and that, and that, and this one. One more to open up. And then we will toss the cardboard and the plastic in all directions, making lots and lots of strange, wacky noises as we go. Okay, how's it going, Brandon? Fred, I hope you get a dragon in that box. Well, I'm, I'm fine not to have a dragon. Oh my gosh, I feel like I've seen this one before. I think I've got this miniature already. Yes, I do. All right, bye-bye, box. Uh, so we'll take him out of the seatbelt. I've got a seat belt on him. Uh, Boule, man, one D&D stream to the next, Fred. Well, it's sort of like that today, isn't it? This weekend is just full of live streams. There's, there's something else. Let's chuck that away. All right, so this is the big one. I've already got, I might actually have two of these things. Honestly, I think I might have at least two of these things. This is just a fire giant king. Fire giant king. Not really the right scale, but it is Pathfinder, so uh, they might struggle with that sort of thing. So we'll just stick you over here for now, and we'll rip open the plastic bits, empty it out. Yeah, this is really working well, Fred. I'm stuck on the sellotape. All right, five minutes to get that open, and open up. Come on out. Come here. Come here. Come here. And get rid of the plastic. At least the cleanup's not going to be too bad. Ba 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 ba. What is this? This looks flattened. Oh my gosh. This is this is definitely flattened. Oh 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 oh. Got to be careful. Oh, she's going to break right off there. Oh oh oh. Technical problems. Technical problems. Ah ah ah. Oh shizes. That's going to be require some gluing. Um. Yes, and probably some hot water to get it to sort of bend. Okay. All right. So. Technical problem, somebody has been fatally injured, and um, there's no possible way of solving this. No, I'm, I'm only kidding. <laughs> there probably is. This is a naughty Avenger. She's got a sword. She's got some cleavage. She's got long hair, black hair, and brown booties and brown kit. And it like, looks like a bit of a kilt on there. And I don't know if you can tell, but her boots are right crazy. And she's come off her base, so gonna have to do a bit of uh, repair, unfortunately. Hmm, 
Okay, all right, so I'm going to move that over. That is going into the pile of I have to fix you later on. <laughs> so what is this thing? This is a green hag. Really? I've got a green hag. Whoa, nice. Green hag time. For those of you who wanted to see a green hag, I will uh, give you a first, the most important view. <laughs> the back side. The back of the miniature. And then, of course, the side of the miniature. And then the front of the miniature. Like so. There we go. That's my green hag. Very good. Actually, that's a really nice sculpt. Paint job is disastrous, but never mind. This is a goblin. Why are the goblins always the best ones? Um, goblin, is it goblin druid? It is a goblin druid. So this is my goblin druid. I don't know if you can necessarily see much of the goblin druid. There we go. Now you might have noticed that it's not zooming in and out and so forth because I've not got the autofocus on. What I've discovered is the autofocus just pops back in and out constantly, which is why I just can't stand that sort of thing. So yeah, it's a goblin droid. Okay, so next box in the arsenal or the uh, collection that we've got here. Let's pop this open. I have to say, getting another one of those fire giants not really what I was hoping for. But nautical theme box is gone. Oh, seatbelt time. Come on, miniatures. Come out. Here we go. All right, and I'm pretty sure that's a troll <laughs> and a seatbelt. Come here. Oh, fighting the bubble wrap. Uh, yes, Smash Bro, I definitely, I've got to take a break. Otherwise, I'm going to go insane. I don't know what the heck what that, what that was, but it looks like some sort of flying creature. It's on a stalk. Brandon, uh, yes, I'm going to take all the time I need to regenerate myself. Do you know there's, just, there's those times you have where you're like, all I want to do is just play with miniatures. I, I just don't want to have to use my brain too much because I feel like I've had to do too much of that as it is. Yes, I too am struggling to brain. Yes, I am. I'm a struggling to brain myself. <laughs> uh, <clears throat> Minis, come on out. All right, come here, come here. Seat belt removal. I like these little ties. It's just yeah, right. Okay, let's let's get a little sucker. He's not wanting to come. Oh, I don't. I, I'm not strong enough to get it out of the plastic. Oh, it's gonna break, isn't it? Push it. Push. Ah, that's. Probably not as bad as trying to give birth. Okay, all right, so what do we got here? We got a a troll. It's a troll. I am pretty sure I have another troll like this troll already. Uh, the only difference is it doesn't have a weapon. It's got a big fat belly. Um, it's been eating lots of things, but I don't believe it has a weapon. Um, this one is weaponless. A weaponless troll. I suppose there's no such thing. That's what the big sharp teeth are all about and yeah okay so that's a troll and this this looks like this is a flying uh, leaping bogard it looks like a flying frog if you ask me so look look at this it's like ah uh, so flying through the air catching the flies whacking you with a big club with spikes on it um i have to say very peculiar but very nautically watery based in terms of uh, it's uh, yeah it's fine I'm alright with that and this is really small so you're unlikely to be able to see it it's a small earth elemental with little spikes on it it's got some eyes no real mouth not a particularly fantastic um, paint job on it um, and that, that's 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 it it's uh, okay that was exciting all right what's this this is a Goblin snake. Is there such a thing as a goblin snake? Apparently there are. Do goblins actually keep snakes as pets? Because I feel like, um, not that I, well, I've got nothing against people who keep snakes as pets. I'm sure they're very nice, but it does seem like a very strange and odd thing to do. Um, yeah, I, I feel like it's, uh, what is it going to eat? It's going to wind up eating, you know, like, your f the kids. Um, the next door neighbors, maybe you, uh, depending on its size, it's going to crawl onto bed with you. Oh gosh, I just can't even imagine that. Okay, so that's a goblin snake. Moving on to the next box, uh, let's just pop open this. 
and pull this out. Well, wishing for the dragon to demon. Ooh, this looks interesting. I don't know what it is. He's also in a suit seat belt. I'm gonna get the ones out of bubble wrap because that's the ones that give me the, so much trouble. Just come here, demon, demon. No, no, come here, come here. That's it. That's gone. Right, next one. What are you? Come here. They bend, unfortunately. Yes, yes, it can be fixed. I'm going to stick it in some hot water. Ooh, look at that. Um, and then I'm going to have to use some glue to stick it back onto the base, which is probably going to happen today. Ooh, well, you hear that wonderful sound that's so stress-relieving. Yes, squeeze. Squeeze that, baby. Squeeze. Hello, Oscar. How's it going, Oscar? Um, Fule, thank you. There we go. All right, so we've got those in up. Now we're going to get this thing out here. It's got a seat belt on. Take a tie off. Tie, 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 tie. Ah, oh, come on. Hurry up. Ho. Oh, I'm going to spend lots of time doing other things. There we go. It's gone. All right, so, well, look. Okay, so you've probably already seen this one before. <laughs> Um, I, I'm pretty sure I have one of these already. I've done a video on the uh, miniature. This is the Goblin Mutant. I feel like the Goblin Mutant is awesome. And to have more than one Goblin Mutant just means that I am definitely going to put them together in, in an adventure at some time just to scare the bejesus out of my players. Because that's what Dungeon Masters are supposed to do. Okay, what is this? This is a small fire elemental. In fact, it's so small that in all likelihood you'll be able to see very little of it. There we go. But it's very flamey. It's red. I don't know if I've got that many fire elementals and certainly not one that small. Okay, this is a fire pelt cougar. So basically, it's supposed to be a fire pelt cougar. What the heck is a fire pelt cougar? It's not painted fan... Oh... The paint job's not too bad. It just looks a little bit white in the front. It's just basically a cougar. It's a cat. On a back, black, 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 black background. Yeah, there we go. That's going to help a lot. I should have done that a little bit more. Apparently, that's there's the poop hole. And there's the side. Get my fingers out of the way. And you get a reasonable sort of look at the, the middle. He's going to pour you. Yeah. Okay, that's him. Cool. Um, one more box. One more box and you're free to go and do other things with your time. Come here. Pull this out. And... No. Ooh, this looks interesting. Um, oh, I missed the big one. Ooh, hang on. I'm jumping the gun. <laughs> I do that sometimes. Um, so this is supposed to be a hill giant chief. I don't think I've got this hill giant chief. Can I just say to you right now, this hill giant chief is, I don't know if you can tell, but it's got really good detail on it. It's actually pretty well painted. It's, I have to say, really quite impressive. Maybe not necessarily the right scale for Dungeons and Dragons 5e because everything is supposed to be huge giants, right? But this as a giant is awesome. I would use it as a, an ogre. And I would be quite happy. It's got little um, skulls around its neck. Um, he's got like this patchwork pants or overalls with one strap off. And he's got a pile of logs strapped together. And he's scratching his head. I love this. This is awesome. That is great. Okay, so back to unloading the last one. It's the bubble wrap. And there's a miniature in there, which I'll deal with in a second. Let's get the bubble wrap ones out because... They are often the ones that I struggle to get. Come here. Sellotape. You know, sellotape is plastic bags and sellotape. Hardest thing to get into. All right. Cool. And that's that one. And we'll do the other one as well. Come here. No. No. Open it up. Oh, something's inside. There we go. Cool. Got it. And oh my gosh. I don't believe it. Look what I've got. Playing Dungeons and Dragons. This is a... Of course, the miniature you absolutely must have. I don't know what they were thinking. Sometimes I wonder about the creators of miniatures. Um, I want to start off with this one. 
Uh, this is Porky Pig. Uh, this is a pig. I have a pig miniature. That's right. Yes, it's it's a pig. Um, do pigs hang out by the coast a lot? I'm not sure. But apparently, this is a squealing Nord. It's a pig. That's what it is. It's a pig. I could give. I could have got a pig from like the two dollar store, from the farm section. You know, like if I want sheep and pigs and so forth. I've got a could have a pig. I got a pig. Oh my gosh. Okay. What's this? This is a Lamashutu Thug One. Lamashutu Thug One. He's in black and red, and he looks. He's he's got like a mask on, and he looks like he's got a crossbow loaded, and he's got a cape. I don't know why he's got the cape. I have no idea why he's got the cape. But you can see, cape. Yeah, whatever. All right. Next, uh, this is a bogard warrior. So we had a flying bogard with us. Um, now this is a non-flying bogard, which is basically just another name for a a frog, man, creature thing. Um, Kurtoa. Uh, if you can't call it a Kurtoa, then I suppose you call it what a uh, a bollywog, one of those, one of those sort of froggy-like creatures. Certainly, yeah, that's fine. I, I could do with more frog-like creatures. Absolutely, I have no problem with that. Okay, last big miniature looks like a dragon. For those of you who were hoping that I would finally pull a dragon, then I will do that. Yes, it's a magic pig. Yes. I'm going to get the name wrong. Euripides, Euripides Ghost. The Magic Pig. That's, that's the one. I am probably just say, said your name like... If I botch, botch, butchered your name, if I butchered your name, I do apologize. And the seatbelt stuck in place. Um, I don't want a pig miniature. Uh, Smash bro, I don't want a pig miniature. I don't need a pig. I can just get it from somewhere else. Yeah, I don't really need a pig that's a familiar. If I want a, if I want a familiar, it's going to be an owl. That way it can't get crushed quite so badly. <clears throat> Intriguing. Mm. Right, okay, so this is a dragon. And it is a forest drake. Oh, it's not a dragon, it's a drake. It's actually a pretty good drake, if you ask me. As drakes go, right? As drakes go. So this is a drake. And, as you can see, it's got some decent paint job on it. It's got a long, long tail that looks like a vine. And it's got some spread out wings, which are brown. And it's sticking out its tongue. It's probably tasting the air because very shortly it's going to have um, human flesh. That's probably what's about to take place. That's pretty impressive. I kind of really like that. That's that's awesome. So we'll stick you, st we'll stick you here. And we'll grab the other ones. I feel like I feel like you guys can all sort of hang out together like that and the rest just chuck in the middle just like that it's not um <clears throat> it's not pretty but uh, it does the job okay so <laughs> I'm all but done what do I think the troll I don't have an issue with the troll I like the drake I like the hill giant it's got lots of green miniatures in it uh, which are goblins hag and um, a bogard which are basically frog creatures um yeah it's not that bad i mean you know i've seen worse i'm actually quite happy with it the drake is actually really nice and i really do like the hill giant it's now my new favorite um ogre miniature as far as i'm concerned so i am done so if you enjoyed this great um look if you're looking for nautical miniatures I believe that the Lost Coast is not the only Pathfinder one that is out there. I think you'll find that um, Skull and Shackles is also a really good uh, um, box set for nautical themed miniatures, if that's what you're after. Now, I'm not going to say ask your questions because you had your opportunity and this is unboxing and it would be ridiculous. Um, but if you do have comments that you want to put down in the comments section when it gets published, then by all means go for that. Um, if you want to watch more of my videos, I have hundreds of videos for players and dungeon masters, which you are welcome to go and check out if you feel the need to do so. And I would be happy for you to do so. So by all means, do that if you feel it would help you in some way. Um, there's usually something for players and dungeon masters that will work for you. 
Now, share, like, and subscribe. Hit the bell button to be notified when I go live and when I publish new videos, if you really feel like that's important to you. Um, and um, look, if you want to support my channel, you did so by sitting through this video. I have, like I said, lots more videos. I don't do Patreon. I do have affiliate links to the book depository on Amazon. And you're welcome to use those. That supports me to make sure I keep doing the videos. And that really is it. I don't have anything else to say. And I'm going to say, till next time, keep rolling those 20s.